Goodman Strauss of the University of Arkansas, and I've just uh, co-authored a book, The Symmetries of Things, with uh, John H. Conway and Heidi Burgell. And I'd like to just uh, say a few words about symmetry today. So, people have been thinking about symmetry for tens of thousands of years. It's a fundamentally interesting human activity. And it's just very recently, though, that mathematicians have begun to understand just what is uh, symmetry, what drives it, and that's what I'd like to talk to you about today. So let me just show you some pictures from the book. This is the software that I used for the book, and you see we can move these uh, images around just beautifully. The point is, this is a different pattern than this is. As patterns, these are different, but obviously they have the same symmetry. I'm not changing the symmetry type when I move these things around. Okay, so what's really happening in all of these different symmetries. Well, I think we've all made paper snowflakes. I sure hope you have because it's a lot of fun. What we do is we take a piece of paper, we fold it up. You can fold it in different, different ways. Here I'm going to try to fold it in a 60 degree way pattern. And we fold it up. Once I get this, I can cut through all the layers. And then depending on how I cut, I'll get different patterns. Here I did this one a little while ago. I cut through all the layers of the snowflake. And uh, when I unfold it, I get this beautiful paper cut snowflake. Now, I could have cut it differently. I would have a different pattern. But it's the folding that controls the symmetry. No matter how I cut this thing, I would have something with exactly the same symmetry as this one. In exactly the same way, I can fold up a uh, strip of paper in a fan-like way. I think fewer people are familiar with paper dolls, but I can cut through all the layers of this fan in any way I please. For example, here, I can unfold it, and I'll have something with this particular symmetry. No matter how I cut it, I'll still have this particular symmetry. So what about the fish scale pattern? What's the, uh, what's the folding pattern for that? That's so remarkable. I think many people are familiar with the Mobius band. A Mobius band is a remarkable way of having a sheet of paper with just one side. I take a strip and I attach it, but I attach it with a half twist. And uh, many of you realize and know that this actually will end up just having a single side on the paper. Incredibly, if I take a piece of paper and I, take, and I fold it first up into a strip, and then I take this strip and I put a half twist in it and start to create a Mobius band paper doll folding pattern, like so. And I think I'm going to have to just stop talking and concentrate. This is going to take some doing. Now I'm going to cut into it, and uh, let's just see what we get. And now let's just see what we've got. It is a little crude, but it's a paper doll with the fish scale symmetry. It's the Mobius band folding, the Mobius band shape, that describes that particular symmetry. It's this link between surfaces and geometry that is the point of the book. It's what that is what controls symmetry.